Hello Grade 2 and welcome back to our science lesson about changing states of matter. Last week we learned about freezing and melting. Freezing is removing heat when a liquid changes to a solid, like the liquid freezing into an ice lolly. Melting is adding heat when a solid melts to a liquid, like the ice cube melting into water and the solid chocolate melting to liquid chocolate. This week we will learn about evaporation and condensation. Evaporation is when we add heat to a liquid and it changes to a gas. Condensation is when we remove heat from a gas so that gas turns back to a liquid. Here are our lesson objectives for this week's science lesson about evaporation and condensation. I can describe changing states of matter from liquid to a gas and gas to liquid. I can identify examples of evaporation and condensation in real life. First, let's talk about evaporation. Have you ever wondered what happens to a puddle of water in the sun? How does it just disappear? The answer is evaporation. Evaporation is the process of a liquid turning to a gas. For example, water turning to water vapor. As you can see, the heat from the sun has caused the liquid water to evaporate into water vapour. Water vapour is a gas that is in the air. Do you remember where we learned about this in science before? Think about it. Condensation. Condensation is the process of a gas turning to a liquid. You can see this happening in hot rooms when the water vapour in the air touches the cold glass of a mirror or a window. The water vapour cools and turns into water droplets that makes the glass look misty and cloudy. This is condensation. Where can I see condensation? You could see condensation in the mirror in the bathroom after a hot shower. Or you could see condensation on your kitchen window when someone is cooking. Why does condensation happen? Water vapour in the air condenses into liquid water when it touches a cold surface. This is water vapour, the gas, turning back to a liquid. Earlier in the year, we learned a little bit about evaporation and condensation when we were learning the water cycle. Do you remember it? Heat from the sun causes liquid water in lakes, rivers and the sea to evaporate and change to water vapour. The water vapour goes into the air and gets cold in the clouds. Then it condenses back to liquid water. This liquid water then falls as rain. You can see the cycle of evaporation and condensation in this picture of the water cycle. Okay, let's practice what we've learned about condensation and evaporation by playing this fun guessing game. In this picture, is it an example of condensation or evaporation?
That's right. This is an example of condensation. The water vapour in the air touched this cold window and turned back into liquid water. Look what is happening to this pot of water as we are adding heat. Something is happening to the liquid water. Is this an example of condensation or evaporation? Good job! This is an example of evaporation. As we add heat to the pot of water, the liquid water evaporates to a gas. Imagine we took a cold glass lid and put it on top of the pot from the previous slide. What would happen to the water vapour then? Exactly, the water vapour, a gas, touched the cool glass lid of the pot and it condensed back into liquid water. Here we can see an example of condensation. When you hang your wet clothes outside to dry, is this an example of condensation or evaporation? Well done! The clothes drying is an example of evaporation. Your clothes dry because the liquid water evaporates into the air. Thank you for watching. I hope you found today's lesson interesting. You can read more about condensation and evaporation in your science book on page 368 and 369.